Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Aguncha. At least 50 children have been rescued so far from a three-story building which collapsed in the Itafaji area of Lagos Island. Emergency rescue agencies such as the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, as well as security officers including the police, Army, National Security and Civil Defense Corps have continued with rescue operations at the scene. The number of casualties is, however, yet to be determined. The Kaduna state government has indefinitely imposed a dogs to dawn curfew in Kaduru local government area of the state following series of attacks by terrorists. According to the government, the curfew which takes immediate effect will be extended to Kajuma and Maraban Rido, which are located in Chungkong local government area. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has fixed March 23rd to conduct supplementary elections in Adamawa, Benue, Kano, Plateau, Sokoto and Bauchi State, respectively. The electoral umpire also disclosed that supplementary polls will take place in polling units in all the states where the state assembly elections was declared inconclusive. Well, ahead of May 29th swearing-in ceremony, President Muhammad Buhari has set up an inauguration committee to be chaired by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. The President has also appointed his deputy, Yemi Oshibaja, as the chairman of a committee saddled with the responsibility of auditing the policies, programs and projects inherited and those initiated and executed by the incumbent administration. Nigeria's provisional balance of payment, which was in deficit in the third quarter of 2018, recorded a surplus of $2.8 million in the last quarter of 2018. Balance of payment is a summary of all monetary transactions between a country and the rest of the world. These transactions are made by individuals, firms and government bodies. At least 66 people have been killed and 141,000 others displaced after heavy rains flooded central and northern Mozambique. In neighboring Malawi, floods have already claimed 45 lives and left over 230,000 people displaced. Malawi's meteorological department has warned of more rains and flooding in the country's south between Thursday and Sunday. West Ham midfielder Declan Rice is expected to be called up to England squad for the first time uh, for the upcoming Euro 2020 qualifiers. Rice is expected to be named in Gareth Southgate squad on Wednesday for England's game against Czech Republic and Montenegro later this month. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Bye for now.